Hey Chibi Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, I had a request from Linda Henderson who asked me to draw a pelican sitting on a post. <laughs> and uh, they are strange looking creatures. So I'm thinking this is a kind of a circle which is going to be like its brain box. And I'm going to put its eyeball, it's just not quite centre, it's kind of over at kind of half past ten a bit and up there. And then we're going to want a line sort of coming down from there a fair old way. And then that's going to have a little kind of claw <laughs> thing on the end of it. And then we have a curve. And then that's going to want to come to about there. Then we've got another little kind of clawy toad looking thing under there. And then that comes pretty straight back to there. And then we got the bill the great big, you know, flappy bit underneath. Throat. That's probably the word I'm looking for. And then this wants to come up and around and kind of like that. So it's going to be coming forward there. And then we want the body coming off there. I think maybe I'm just going to move this up a little bit. There to give myself a little bit more room. Um, and then we got a kind of a line coming down through the wing, and then the wing, and then that's sort of coming around there, and then the tail is coming down there too. We want to see the feet. Oh, no, it's probably more like that. I'm going to have to zoom out maybe to fit that in. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start right in there with the eye. And I'm going to draw a circle. And then a kind of a, mm, like a Pac-Man shape kind of thing. You've probably seen me do it many times before. And then a little line around the top, a little line around the bottom. And I'm going to do this line first coming up there. And then that little kind of toe thing. And then there's a line that comes like that. And then that's going to go there. It's actually going to go the opposite way. Because <laughs> then that then comes around here. And kind of into there like that. It's got quite a fluffy kind of head. And then we want this kind of, it's like a shoe bill kind of thing going on there. If you've ever seen a shoe bill bird, that's going to come there. And then that's going to be the throat. Now, these aren't just the most kind of shaggy feathered birds. <laughs> and so I'm going to just kind of draw these feathers coming down like that and that will then come into the tail down there and we've got this extraordinarily shaggy um, wings as well so we'll be coming around like that and we had this kind of line here in the wing, which is a very strange thing altogether. And then this needs to be kind of curving around so that that is then kind of coming down there. And then we can have this other kind of line of feathers coming that way. And these are going to kind of sprout out kind of that direction there so we can maybe put a few more curving around that way and then here again I think we need to this is kind of where the the chest comes out because this is the this is the throat um, which I think we could probably shade in and we can bring that line 
up to there and then we need a kind of a line forward there as well so we can shade this all in here and then I'm going to put some more of this these kind of feathers in here and they have to kind of curve around to fit the body and then we're going to want to have the legs coming down that'll go to the back leg and then we'll want one like that and another one there and then we'll have this leg <laughs> and we want the little toes going around the top there'll be another one at the back there so this is going to be coming down on this post which has probably got sort of bird droppings all over it I should imagine and when you are sure that the ink is dry you can erase all those pencil lines and I'm looking at this thinking something is looking a bit weird and it's kind of it needs more sort of around there as well because this is a kind of a yellowy color so that would have been more around there and now I'm going to give this a very quick bit of um, grey wash just to kind of give it a, a bit of sort of bodiness to the whole thing so that can come along like that um, just to give a bit of extra something there there'll be a little bit of shade there but then it's this kind of great shaggy <laughs> it's almost like fur it's kind of a weird looking bird altogether and then the feet are quite dark too And then we can put a bit of something on the there. We can maybe put a bit of extra kind of shading down there and a little bit extra coming there and from there too. And then I think this is really going to be a lot darker underneath here altogether. It's a very, very, very strange bird and once you start drawing it it just doesn't look <laughs> right <laughs> whatever you do it's like so many kind of natural things when you kind of look at them you go oh is that right and because you kind of make assumptions about how they look and uh <laughs> and maybe the assumptions aren't exactly <laughs> quite what you think they are so we'll just have a bit of water in the background just to kind of put it in the ocean. Thanks for watching and you can support this channel and get so much more on my Patreon page. Click to find out more. Make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rain and Drawing channel on YouTube and in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.